expedition have started quite regular. We arrived all together in Kathmandu, get a Tibetan visa, and uh, next five days we crossing the Himalay from the south up to the north to the base camp. To the base camp from the north, you can arrive by car, so it's quite comfortable. You can bring a lot of uh, stuff. You know what, after this quite regular climbing story, we go up and down, up and down to get the acclimatization. When it was done, uh, the main problem for, not, for us was to catch the uh, window of good weather, because compared with climbers, I need more more good weather for the jump. It's a good visibility, not so strong wind. Normally people have weeks to acclimatize on Everest, but because of the extreme conditions here, maybe we have only a couple of hours time to catch the window for the jump. And uh, so we have to be ready whenever the weather window is there. Maybe it will be in a couple of days. Normally people have two months time to go to Everest for us will be maybe only a couple of days. Normally, uh, in round the time that we're hoping to do the jump, the, the last two, three years, the, the weather window's been really bad in round it. So it's really just playing it by year and just checking the weather every day whenever we're two, three days out from the jump site. If the, if the weather window comes a day or two before we have our time set for the jump, obviously Valerie will have to use oxygen to get to the, the jump site, and then obviously if the weather's good, we can go from there. We checked the weather forecast and realized that uh, the window is quite close to us, so we need to hurry up a little bit. We are really restricted in timing. It's getting really up to seven and a half thousand meters at the shortest space of time. Climb up to the North Pole, it was quite difficult for us. Uh, at least for me, it was very difficult. Just because of its extreme altitude, we have super strong winds, cold temperatures, extreme conditions, we're gonna make it a tough project. So this will be a big test for everybody, physical and mentally. We have another challenge with the, the trip is really, we have two camps, the, the second camp is at the landing site. We will split for two teams, 
uh, one team will go with me to the exit spot, and as one go again to the Ronbuk Valley for the landing area for shooting my landing. Unfortunately, porters won't go uh, above Tillman's camp. So logistics, trying to get a, a middle camp and a high camp set up above that is just really, the team really has to carry all their own gear in and all the equipment in themselves. And people are getting more and more exhausted than really what they should be. Whenever we get up into the, the second camp, it's going to be Marcus that's taking over and leading them onto the glacier. We are here in a really uh, wild territory in the Rombok Glacier. So the normal way goes on the Rombok East Glacier. But here, we are here directly under the north face of the Mount Everest and it's really hard to get in because here it's not a normal track. A very a dangerous glacier with crevasses and um, ice balls here and yeah, it's really wild here. Probably we must wait some days here on this glacier for Valerie's jump. My base climbing life, if I can say like this, because I did it last more than 10 years, uh, I never thought about any kind of record. You know, I need to beat this record, I need to do the highest jump. But for sure, this jump from Everest is setting a new standard for the base jumping. This is for sure.